Kidney cancers, when confined to the kidney, is treated with either active surveillance or surgical removal of the tumor or surgical removal of the tumor and kidney together, or in cases where patients can't get uh, surgery but need treatment, we can do percutaneous ablation. In late stages, advanced kidney cancer with a locally advanced disease or metastatic disease, cure is not possible, uh, so use surgery for um, debulking or uh, reducing the volume of the disease, and then systemic therapy is applied. So both target therapies and immunotherapies are used for advanced um, kidney cancer um, to control the disease and make the patients live longer. But we also have clinical research uh, trying to um, apply treatments early on, even in the surgically curable state, both in the neoadjuvant and adjuvant setting. So what a lot of patients aren't always made aware of uh, when they learn they have a kidney tumor is that the kidney tumor may not be a cancer. And in fact, the smaller the kidney tumor is, the more likely that's the case. And by not a cancer, I mean a benign tumor. Those can uh, continue to grow, they can grow quite big, and they have no ability to spread, no ability to become life-threatening at all to the patient. And those we prefer not to treat. Those are the best types of tumors for active surveillance. Patients should not rush into treatment because number one, the tumor, kidney tumor may not be a malignant. Number two, if the kidney tumor is malignant, it may not need treatment. It could be managed more appropriately with active surveillance. Number three, if the kidney tumor does need treatment and the whole kidney is recommended to come out, it's possible that a surgery could be performed without taking out the whole kidney. And number four, if a partial nephrectomy is recommended, this is a very technically challenging operation and should be performed at a center that does the most of these, such as a comprehensive cancer center like Roswell Park.